Uh, good morning. My name is Tangam Venkatesan and I am Associate Professor at the Medical College of Wisconsin in Milwaukee. Uh, my area of research and clinical interest is a condition called uh, cyclic vomiting syndrome. You may want to know what CVS is. It's um, not the pharmacy. It's a chronic condition that is actually characterized by recurrent stereotypic episodes of nausea and vomiting and uh, patients will actually often dramatically recover and return to normal. Um, you will often sometimes see children or even adults who fall sick and uh, once they have recovered, they may be uh, literally eating a hamburger. Uh, this should not be misinterpreted as uh, malingering because that is truly the nature of the disease. Um, <coughs> Now, aside from nausea and vomiting, uh, patients also suffer an enormous amount of uh, abdominal pain during these episodes. Uh, they can have headache, a photophobia, phonophobia, excessive salivation, and even profuse diarrhea at times. Uh, there is an association with migraines, and there is actually a strong family history and even a personal history of migraines in these patients. And this disorder is actually uh, likened to be a migraine uh, diathesis. Uh, the etiology of this condition is unknown, but uh, several theories have been proposed. Uh, there have been studies looking at mitochondrial DNA polymorphisms um, in these patients. And um, <clears throat> it has been found that there are certain mitochondrial DNA mutations uh, in children which can predispose to CVS. Uh, there are some ongoing studies looking at genetic mutations in adults. Um, other theories that have been proposed has been a link with autonomic dysfunction, and there are studies to show that these patients actually also have associated um, autonomic dysfunction, and there's a huge burden of uh, comorbid conditions um, in these patients. Um, stress seems to play a big trigger, and often people fall sick on vacations, they ruin birthdays, family reunions, um, and so on. Um, and finally, uh, last but not the least, um, there is uh, some emerging evidence or concern that uh, cannabis or marijuana can actually cause cyclic vomiting. And a new uh, term called cannabinoid hyperemesis has been coined. Uh, there is considerable controversy uh, over this issue, and it's unclear at this point. Uh, whether it truly causes cyclic vomiting or not, though there seems to be a strong association with vomiting. And um, so you may ask why you need to attend this session on uh, cyclic vomiting syndrome. Uh, you may have never heard about this disorder, and if you know nothing about it, then I think you really should attend, uh, because uh, CVS was once this, quote, obscure disease which was largely unknown, uh, but the prevalence of CVS in children, there was a study, a cross-sectional study that was done in Scotland, which revealed that the prevalence of CVS was almost 1.9%. Um, and to really put this in perspective, uh, that means that it is 10 times higher than the prevalence of Crohn's disease in North America. So it really is more common uh, than we think. And many patients have unfortunately been attributed other diagnoses, and it's often misdiagnosed. Uh, the delay in diagnosis in this condition is often almost five to 10 years. Um, and uh, several of my patients who are referred to me um, actually have unnecessary investigations and even um, interventions such as uh, cholecystectomies and so on. And uh, these obviously don't have um, any therapeutic benefit. Uh, it is very gratifying to treat these patients, and um, if you are able to appropriately diagnose and treat these patients, the outcomes are pretty good. So if you don't know anything about it, please do attend. Uh, if you do know about CVS, I still think uh, you would find it very interesting to attend uh, because there's actually a lot of new information out there uh, that I hope to share with you. Uh, we will be having a session uh, on uh, cyclic vomiting syndrome on Tuesday morning. And uh, this is part of the session on vomiting disorders, new and old kids around the block. So uh, I hope to see you there on Tuesday. Thank you.